this thing here. And it's win Vanessa Del Rio for a weekend in New York City. Do you think that if I entered that back to this address here, that they would still honor it? Like, do you think I could still win that? Yeah, I think they would. What year is this from? I don't see a date, but I mean, it's worth a shot. Yeah, let's do it. We can both win her for a week. Nah, that's all you, bro. I'm a married man. She's beautiful. Hi, I'm Chris, and this is my friend Crack Sizzlack. Yo. This is another episode of 4 Minute and 20 Second Film Reviews. What did we watch this week? This week we watched Aftermath, directed by Nacho Cerda. Uh, it was a suggestion by Nate Levine, who actually came through and watched it with us. That was nice of him. <laughs> yeah, he loved it. Sure did. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's get this started. Uh, what was it about? It was a short flick. It was a 25 minute flick out of Spain, foreign film. Um, it was, it was uh, took place in a morgue. Starts with these dudes, you know, working on some dead bodies. And then uh, an orderly's just like, you know, pushing a new um, woman, like a dead woman in on a gurney. Um, he just like listen to headphones and then like locks eyes with the fucking, one of the morticians or whatever. The mortician's like grilling him. You know what I mean? Like he gives him a mean ass look. Like he got these crazy ass eyes. He got them crazy eyes. You feel me? Crazy eyes. He got them crazy eyes, bro. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Matt McLean. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man. So uh, the dude ends up alone with the fucking uh, with the with the fucking body. Sure did. Yeah. Cuts her panties and fucking bra. Starts taking pictures. Cuts her up real bad, yo. Like, fucks her up, yo. She's just a bloody mess, dude. And then this dude's like taking more pictures and then puts the fucking camera on record and then hops up on the table and fucks her dead body. No. Yeah. Okay. And he's like going in, dude. It was so nasty. Not only is he fucking a dead body, this dude's fucking a bloody ass dead body. Nasty as fuck. This dude gets his nut. This dude gets up off of her. Uh, off of her fucking takes her heart, you know what I mean? And then washes her up, does the autopsy, and then peels, goes home. At least he got his job done. Dude takes the heart, puts it in a fucking blender, mixes it up, throws it in a bowl, and feeds it to his dog, dude. That's gross. Yeah, it was gross. And then, like, you see, like, uh, a shot of the, the fucking obituary of the girl who had died, you know what I mean? So it was like, might have been some weird, I don't know, some weird type symbolism or some shit there, you know? I think you knew her. Yeah, something like that, you know what I mean? And he took her heart, like that's like kind of fed it to his dog, like was it his, his ex or something, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like did she do him, did he, you know, I don't yeah. know, something weird, something weird about it. So uh, what would you like about it? Uh, I like that, even though it was a foreign flick, there was no dialogue. So it's not like I had to read the fucking screen. That shit kind of draws me away from like, I, I don't get to like, really pay attention to what's going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like okay. that, that was, you know what I mean? So that yeah. was that was the best part of, it just didn't make a difference. It could have been from anywhere, there was no dialogue, you know? So I didn't have to read shit. I like the fact that the bodies look mad real. You know what I mean? Like it was gross, but they looked like real dead bodies. It was pretty dope for being like, you know what I mean? Kind of like a, I don't know, like a, a 90s flick like that. And being kind of like, I don't know, it was pretty dope. Um, I like that it had a cool ending. Like I mentioned, like, I think there was like some deeper like symbolism or some shit to that. Cause it's like, he took the heart, you know what I mean? And it's like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Some shit like that was kind of was kind of cool. I like that the dude kind of fit the part of like a crazy motherfucker that would do that. Yeah. You know what I mean, because all you can see is this dude's eyes the whole film, and like 
just off his eyes, you like this nigga, this motherfucker's creepy as fuck, dog. You feel me? Yeah. yeah I mean, and uh, well, yeah, yo, that's that. Um, only dislikes. Well, I mean, the major dislike is that it is fucking hard to watch. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to watch somebody. It's hard to watch somebody cut up something that looks exactly like a real dead body into a bloody fucking mess and then hop up on and smash. And like, that shit was hard as fuck to watch. So even though I had a deeper meaning, you know what I mean? It was hard to fucking get through the, even though it was 25 minutes long. Yeah. But out of a possible 3.5 on the scale, I'm gonna give it a 2.7. That's not bad. Nah, it wasn't bad, it's but it's not something this. I'm gonna watch again because it was so nasty. But yeah. if y'all into some crazy fucking, you know, hard to watch shit, you know I mean, it's probably like a must see. Well, you might have already seen it, but, you know. It's worth checking out if you want to see some gross stuff. Yeah, and yeah. not spend a long time watching it. <laughs> yeah, 25 minutes. Mm, it was well done. But yeah, so, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, make sure you like the video, share it and stuff. Uh, we'll be back in a week. Yep. We'll have some more weird shit to talk about. Uh, See you later. Peace. I love you. Why do I love you?